Hey guys, it's Becca Castell, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own stencil using Photoshop. Now, stencils are fantastic because you can, you know, when you know how to create your own stencil, you can really customize, you know, your room or anything you want to use it with. And it's fantastic. Like, I'm an artist and I use stencils all the time um, for certain projects. You know, I love freehanding um, my murals, but there's certain parts of the mural that just makes it much easier if I have a stencil. So using you know Photoshop as to create these custom stencils really help out a lot. So I'm really excited and can't wait to show you how to do it. Open up Photoshop. We're gonna to go to File. Press New. And for example, when we're doing the width and height, uh, I would recommend measuring the wall, right? So for example. Uh, this stencil, we're going to create a Louis Vuitton mural stencil. So I measured the wall, and the wall was 144 inches width by 102 inches. Again, you customize it depending on the size of the wall. And then everything else, you just kind of leave the same. And for example, it's going to be more of a landscape. So press create. And this is our wall. Then the next thing we're going to do is you're going to go, you know, online and find you know, your pattern. So we're gonna type in Louis Vuitton vector pattern. Now it's really important that whatever pattern that you're looking for to create a stencil or image, make sure that it's vectorized. Uh, what does that mean? Basically the image, no matter how large or small, um, the lines, the image is very crisp on the edges and just it makes it much easier to cut it out for stencil purposes. So we go to images, and we're gonna look for a pattern. Now it doesn't really matter what color. Again, you're gonna cut this out. So for example, let's see, let's click on this one. See, and it's vector, which is really important. Great, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab it, drag it into Photoshop, and then we're going to resize it. So we're going to go to File, Transform. I mean, I'm sorry, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and then we're going to scale it. So you're going to make it as big as you want. Do you want the logo smaller? Do you want it bigger? Again, what you see here is going to be proportioned to what the image is going to look on your wall. That takes a little bit for it to uh, process. It is a large file. And that is normal. Alright, perfect. See? So we're able to blow up the image and it still maintains its for the most part, it's crisp um, lines, so it's not blurry or anything like that. Now, you know, depending on how you want it to lay out, then you kind of customize it. Do you want to look a little bigger? So, for example, like the edges, I kind of want to make it even. So, again, I go to Edit, I go to Transform, and I press Scale. And I just make it slightly bigger. Just because I don't want really the logos to be cut off in the edges. So try to kind of make it even. And again, it doesn't really matter if, you know, what color the image is because do keep in mind, you're going to be cutting this out. So I would always recommend to get the image in black and white. So it's easier for you to cut it out. And also, you know, for example, if I were to do this reverse, the background in black and the logos in white, you know, they would charge me the athletics to print it out like a lot of money. So just be smart and just whatever image you need to cut out, make sure it's always a darker color so you save on ink. All right, so once you adjusted your pattern, your Louis Vuitton pattern to the way you want it to look like on the wall, you're going to go to view. Click on rulers, 
And then, I don't know if you've ever used Feature before, but it's fantastic. Um, basically, it kind of measures out the wall. So you're going to grab on here to the side, and we're going to drag the line. And you're going to put it to the 35 inches width. And you're going to kind of continue that throughout the whole pattern. So every 35 inches. Now it's okay if it's not even, that's all right. So the reason, why are we doing 35 inches? Well, when you go and print out the stencil at FedEx, the largest width size on the blueprint machine, which is the machine that you're going to use to print out these stencils, uh, that I would highly recommend to print on, the largest width that you can print on it is 35 inches. So you wanna kind of already prepare your file for that. Uh, so once you divide it, so, you're going to take a look at your design. Now, I would recommend to print the one. You're only going to print one stencil. You're not going to print this whole entire wall. Okay? You're only going to print one part. Now, I would recommend the first one, the edge, right? Just because, at least in my design, as you see, it's kind of some of the logos are a little cut off. So it just kind of makes it a little easier. Now, as you see here, the logo is kind of cut in the middle. That's okay because I can just always flip the paper and make the other side of the logo. So it's not, it's really not a big deal. So once you're ready to, once you're read, happy with the design you're gonna print out, you're gonna to go to file, I'm sorry, you're gonna to go to your toolbar. All right, so you're going to crop out your imagery right over here. And then voila, you have your image, or your stencil that you're going to print out. I'll just double check before you go to FedEx, the exact size of the print. So you can go and check that here. If you go to image, canvas size. Then you'll see here, again, a little under 35 inches, which is fine. You don't want it more than 35 inches, and then the height, the length, 102 inches, which is perfect. Again, when you go to FedEx, you can print it on the blueprint machine. Be very specific on that. Uh, you can print it out lengthwise or heightwise as long as you want, but the width stays under 35 inches or at 35. So once you finish creating your design, I recommend going to your, again, to your local FedEx office print shop to get it printed. And it's basically going to look like something like this. Um, make sure you use the blueprint a printer and also use a sh really sharp knife um, to cut out the stencil this is most the most tedious part um, of doing a stencil but trust me it's definitely well worth it and as you see here um, you basically use the stencil to trace out the outline of the logos and you just see the final product which it looks absolutely amazing and perfect i've used this method in other projects for example i did a gucci mural as well same process and it ends up coming out fantastic so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was very informative and and taught you how to create your own stencil and uh, you know go ahead and have fun with this um for example i you know use this stencil technique for a louis vuitton mural that i created uh for a client and it helped out tremendously to make sure that you know the louis vuitton mural looked absolutely perfect almost like it was wallpaper um, if you want to check out that video, you can click it down below in the in my description. And um, so I would love to hear your co comments and feedback and tell me what you thought about the video. So make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.